you're gonna be right back in the reaction video really about the title. I'm reacting to Crazy X TikTok compilation. And we're gonna get right into this. Hopefully this is funny because somebody told me to react to it. If it's not funny, um I'm gonna be hella pissed. I don't know which one to react to because it's like two of them. Well it's actually a lot. I'm trying to see which one looks funny. I don't really know which one looks funny. I mean, it's not supposed to be funny, but like, you know what I mean. I'm not going to this one. I had. Uh, Scare record on. And also, comment out other videos you guys want me to react to when I got y'all. But make sure they're videos, no music. Y'all love comment down music. On this trend. What is the most fucked up thing an in law has. Three years ago, hey. my kiddo came out to me and my husband that he was trans. We call doctors, we said what's the right thing to do. The unanimous cell agreed. You love your child, you validate your child, you use their preferred pronouns, because if you don't, you increase the risk of suicide by up to 70%. So that's absolutely what we have done since day one. I asked my mother-in-law to do the same. She laughed in my face. I said, don't you want to see the research, talk to the doctors? She declined. She did hold a family meeting, though, how I must be abusing my child if I'm making my daughter be a boy. This is the same lady with the same child that she visited in the NICU, gave him a kiss, his first kiss, even though she was concealing the fact that she had cold symptoms, my creamy caught a cold, coated three times. Luckily, was able to be revived to be the son that he is today. But you didn't hold a family meeting about that, did you? You didn't care, did you? Yeah, it was those family members. This is what you get for breaking up with a fucking psychopath. My purse and everything is fucking gone. My window is fucking completely smashed, man. Look, try to take all my stuff. Trying to take all my stuff. Get out! Get the fuck out! Get out! So we went to go get my stuff and he literally covered a note in his blood. In his actual blood. Now that's crazy. It's disgusting. No, that's crazy. Dudes be like. My ex is fucking crazy. And then you deal with them just long enough to realize, huh, nah, you probably drove her there because you're slowly driving me there and before we get there, let me hop into the motherfucking car. They don't tell the full story. Hi! How you doing? You put in a word for me with your partner? I did put in a word. You told them I'm literally trying to fuck the police. I told him, but he didn't seem too interested. You must not pass background check. Background? What is it about my background he doesn't like? You got two DUIs and a restraining order against both your ex husbands. What's that mean? That means you're a crazy drunk bitch with pussy so good that a judge had to give order to keep my fucking away from you. Guilty as charged! Yeah, but y'all are dying for dust. My ex is crazy and I have to lock all my doors. <laughs> hey, dude, you need to go. I'm coming back. No, you're not. I'm moving my stuff I broke up with you last night. You're I leaving. I don't care. And all your stuff is here? Yeah, crazy? I have nowhere to go. Move. No, get out of my apartment. No, you need to go. Stop. Seriously. Okay, go to the front door now. No. What are you doing? You need to get your shower. Fine, you're one. staying in here. Some guy didn't knock her out. That was amazing. Are you kidding? Dude, are you in my shit? Are you in my shit? I can believe that one. Yeah, you're gonna take it out of the 
I ain't playing with you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're on my I'm property. I'm marking this one. Go now. Where the fuck are you scamming the fucking door? Are you fucking crazy? What? Fucking crazy bitch. You gotta go. Run for your life. You gonna wake up with a knife to your throat. Pray to God. 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 my name into his leg with a knife. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. Mm -mm, that's a different type of crazy. Oh, 
But not like, once you break up with somebody, everything should be changed. So. After I passed out in one of the rooms at the house party, Danny woke up from sleeping in the car because he was wasted. His friend that was with us told him that I kissed another guy for New Year's, and he was absolutely pissed. So he came in the house all hot and heavy, he was asking everyone where I was. Him and his friend found me passed out in one of the rooms. Both of them grabbed me, drug me out to my car. I was completely unconscious and drunk out of my mind. They threw me in the back seat, and Danny was still drunk, and so was his friend, and they drove me an hour back to post while both of them were intoxicated. When they got to the gate to get onto Fort Bragg, one of the MPs had noticed me in the back seat and had had some alcohol in the car told them that they needed my ID to get on post. When they realized that Danny was drunk and they gave him a breathalyzer, I was still unconscious in the back seat. Eventually they woke me up and called an ambulance because I had alcohol poisoning. Danny and his friend got arrested for underage drinking, driving while intoxicated. Danny got kicked out of the army. And a week later, he asked me to marry him. Is y'all married? Y'all wanted a story time relating to this. Uh, I when know. I was 15 and I had a pixie cut, I mean, like, this was the energy I was radiating, okay? Um, well, because of that, I didn't think any guy would ever want to talk to me. But then this one dude started talking to me, and I was like, okay, he kind of cute. I'm going to roll with this for a while. Keep in mind, I'm 15 years old. Okay, then one night, we're on FaceTime, I have pneumonia. And so I'm, I told him, like, I feel like I'm going to die. And the boy says to me, when you die, they better bury you face down. And I was like, huh? I, I was so confused, but then he, he was like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm a necrophiliac. And so my 15 year old ass had to look up what that meant. And then what I did, immediately blocked him on every account. Never spoke to the boy again. I don't want to know what happened to him. See, I don't want to look it up. So. funny TikTok videos that I can laugh to, bust out crying real quick. This right here is trash. I don't know why would you even recommend me this. It's not funny. Or well, maybe it's the wrong video. Leave the link down below to the video you guys want to watch. Cause this, this is boring. This is boring. And half of it is was fake. And then a crazy eggs. Well, some of the stories was crazy. But yeah. The rest was just fake and boring. But if you got back this train action, you're gonna know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, check back, post notification, but only say no on every video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bam.